CBS 8 Steve Price takes us inside San Diego's National Fusion Facility that's been a well-kept secret for decades. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but in that building is the largest magnetic fusion machine in the entire country. And I know what you're thinking. What's that? Ready to fire a shot. In a magnetic chamber in San Diego, <laughs> scientists are recreating what happens naturally on stars. It's a process called nuclear fusion, the combining of two hydrogen atoms into one, creating energy. So we're trying to make a sun on Earth for the purpose of clean energy. Dr. Katherine Thome is a scientist at the D3D National Fusion Facility, where their chamber can get 10 times hotter than the sun. They open it up to universities and labs to advance research with the goal of one day using nuclear fusion to power the planet. It doesn't use fossil fuels, it doesn't make carbon emissions, and it makes large amounts of baseload electricity, and so that is good for the nation's energy security and it's good for the planet. They're not actually making electricity here, but through experiments in the reaction chamber, they're figuring out all the techniques and technologies to make energy and take the power out safely. And the process doesn't use radioactive chemicals. Fusion is inherently safe. If things stop working, we just stop getting power, which is a huge bummer, right? We don't want that to happen, but we don't have to worry about any radioactive risks coming from it. This facility is operated by General Atomics on behalf of the Department of Energy. The hope is that through trial and error here, we'll eventually be able to create magnetic fusion facilities that can be placed around the country to power cities. And even though this idea has been around for decades, it's still far from becoming a reality because the research isn't cheap. If you gave us $20 billion, I think we would see it in 10 years. But we need the money to have it happen. But those who work here, especially the younger employees, say this is still a very exciting time because we're closer than ever to having it become a reality. Powering the planet on clean energy, all from research happening right here in our own backyard in Sereno Valley. Steve Price, CBS 8.